Hey, hello guys. Just came back from the AFK, you know. Got my gems. I have Megumi right now, so... Music's a little bit loud. Let me lower that. But yes, um, welcome guys. Today we're gonna talk about Megumi. So... Uh, I mean like... I don't really expect Megumi to have anything else besides explosion. But, you know, God says otherwise, so hmm... Baba boy. So I'm like, why is my character invisible in the testing place and I don't understand? I don't know if I can show you guys the moves. Like the first move, the particle is still there, you know. It's like a small AOE, you know. It did about, let's see, uh... 700 something damage, you know. It's a little bit more than like, Zenitsu's, like, thunderclap, so... It's nice with like a small AOE, you know. Like, it doesn't stall you either. And then the second and third move, it doesn't give iframe, but it makes you stay still. So like, there's like the Kamehameha attack, right? Basically, um, and then like the flame tornado is a, is a very big AOE. It makes you stay still. No iframe though. It looks like it does a lot of damage though. Like right, like there's a lot of multi attack. I'm not sure. I haven't really counted them all. So I can't really say. But Megumi only has one iframe, which is her explosion. It's like, um, compared to Rimuru, right? Like, Megumi has, like, more cooldown with her ult, and, like, one second shorter with her one attack. Which is, I mean, like, it's alright, you know? Rimuru's first attack, I believe... What was it again? Let me think. Uh... I forgot. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. It's the Black Lightning. It's, like, um, AoE. Instead of like a single attack like Megumi, so... Okay, I mean like, doesn't change too much. Oh yeah, let me just show you guys the explosion. You charge up, you get iframe obviously, then like... Yeah, you, you do like... No, ex explosion! You know, um... The particle is really cool, but they're not very unique. I I'm not like, I'm an invisible character, so I kind of ruining the experience. <laughs> Oh no, it's so bad. Oh my god. What have they done in the tussling place? I don't get it. Also, you swing with your staff for some reason, like... Oh, okay, like a... It's like a sword, but except it's a staff, you know? I mean, like... It is what it is, you know? Let's test it out in the... Um, you know, um, dungeon. Yeah, let's get in there. Now, I will be testing it in the demon dungeon, so... Here's what... Okay, so if the first attack, it one-shot with crit, that's pretty good, you know. We're at Nightmare Dungeon right now, by the way, if you're wondering. So, I mean, it doesn't one-shot, you have to combo with, like, your AoE. So I guess you have to stay in the back a lot, just like Rimuru, basically. I mean, unless you want to mix in some melee attack, that works too. Okay, AoE is, like, really nice. I like it, I like it. Ooh, okay, that's the wrong direction, I should've went to another direction with that attack. Okay, so I mean like AoE is really nice. The damage is actually insane. Compared to like Zenitsu and like Rimuru, it's not too different. I would say like Rimuru, does Rimuru have more AoE or does Megumi? I would say Rimuru has like a safer playstyle considering like you don't stay still for like, you know, many percent of the time, you know. Megumi feels like a late game character right now, cause you wanna kill your enemy fast, I feel like. I mean, then again, that's like every character, I feel like. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm like, if there's like a raid, if there's ever like a super tanky boss, maybe Megumi will be good. But the fact that you stay still, like that's really risky, man. Like, I had to rely on my 2 and 3 right now to kill these guys. So I don't take too much damage because it gets pretty risky, you know. We're just gonna, you know, do our explosion. Very nice. It, it doesn't even do burn damage. Hello, explosion, you know, fire. You know, we have flame beam, flame burst, flame tornado. They're all flames, right? Like, we don't do burn damage. Hello. You know, the characters, the effects, they're really, like, I like them a lot. But, like, the design wise, they're not as good. You know, they're not very unique, cause like, it feels like, like the flame beam, right? It's literally Goku's Kamehameha, but except like, 
somewhat retexture and like more, you know, things added to it, you know, like, yeah, I mean like, I'm sure the flame tornado is from another character's move or something as well, but yeah, I mean like, yeah, the flame burst is like from Natsu, like, I believe, I guess remix, retexture Natsu, but then again, it's just a fireball, so, yeah, I shouldn't judge it too hard there, you know, but yeah. Brimu feels a little bit better. Megumi, risky. Like if you're at, if you're like a low level, right? If you're at like a Titan something like the Titan dungeon, is that the what? What is called Titan Dimension is what it's called. So I mean like, hmm, it feels risky because if you can't kill them fast, right? You're obviously gonna ki take a lot of damage, you know. So that's not good. And then, like, you only have one range attack, which is the flame burst. It's like, hmm. 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 I don't know how I feel about this. The damage. It's like a high burst. And a like, high risk, you know, character. It's a little bit. Like, if you want more damage, probably this would be it, right? I would say at least. Let me just explode and see how much this does. Um. Yeah, it does about the same as the new Su's ult, you know? And, like, removes i believe except Rimuru lasts for longer you know it takes like three years man <laughs> and like yeah probably megumi would be a little bit under Rimuru in terms of usefulness right now like i'm just judging them based on like how well they perform and like uh, if they have iframe or not iframes are super important the fact that zenusu has two i would say like literally buy him definitely if you're thinking about, if you do like Zenitsu between Megumi and like Zenitsu, definitely Zenitsu is what I'm saying, you know. But yeah, we're beating the boss pretty easily, so we have like good cards, right? So, you know, don't be like, oh yeah, I do a lot of damage and like, be like, that's actually good. It's just, she's not as good compared to like the others, you know. But, you know, if you do like Megumi, she's probably like an A minus in my opinion, you know. She could be better, but the fact that she has like no two iframe at least when she stays still is a little bit risky. I'm just gonna say. So, yeah, I mean like it's risky. So do be careful when you use Megumi. You know, I'm not sure if I show my stat. I know it's kind of irrelevant now. I feel like, but let me just show my stat real quick. You know, if you guys are curious, you know it exists. <laughs> I know I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna show it just in case anybody's wondering. But yeah, I mean, Megumi is cool, but performance-wise, it's alright, you know, like, yeah, I mean, doesn't feel too useful yet, but then again, the game just, like, released not too long ago, so, hey, maybe she'll be useful in the future if she get buff or something. But yes, anyways, guys, thank you for watching, I'm gonna head out, you guys have a good day, bye-bye.